Tranaki stunned Canterbury to snatch the Ranfurly shield in Christchurch. Tranaki stunned Canterbury to snatch the Ranfurly shield in Christchurch The double try hit that saw Tranaki grab the Ranfurly shield. Home to the Barrett brothers, Peter Snell and now the Ranfurly shield. Tranaki stunned Canterbury 55-43 in a thrilling contest in Christchurch on Friday night, denying the reigning champions from stashing the treasured law go wood at Rugby Park for the summer. Instead, no doubt after celebrating into the wee hours of Saturday morning, the Amber and Blacks will take it home with them to New Plymouth. Tranaki celebrate winning the Rand Furley Shield after beating Canterbury 55-43. Having trailed 31-7 inside the first half hour, Tranaki stunned the home team with a breathtaking display of rugby in the second half. Their seven tries to six win at AMI Stadium started Tranaki's sixth Shield tenure, and first since Waikato nabbed it from them in 2012. P.T. Gusso Ocula scores one of Tranaki's tries against Canterbury. Snaring the shield was the perfect way to honor Tranaki legend Peter Burke, who died aged 90 on Monday, and captained the province through their famous shield era of 1957-59. Donning black armbands to honor Burke. Tranaki flanker Lachlan Boshier scored the go-ahead points when he completed his brace with 10 minutes to play. Wing Manas Amata L, who scored a few sparkling tries on the same ground for the Crusaders this season, sent the Tranaki contingent of the crowd into raptures a few minutes later, when he sealed the triumph after returning a charge down kick. Tranaki first 5-8 Stephen Perifita scores. But Tranaki fans weren't the only ones smiling on Friday night. 39 years after Manawatu held the shield for the first and only time in team history, they will get a shot at it in New Plymouth on Wednesday night. In addition to winning the shield, the statement win all but seals the Premiership's top seed for Tranaki. Tranaki prop Mitchell Graham lines up Canterbury pivot Richie Maunga. Both sides are on 36 points, but Tranaki has a game in hand over Canterbury, who will finish their regular season with an away game in Auckland next week. Much like the majority of Canterbury's defences this year, they blew the game wide open after notching their bonus point try inside the first half hour. At 31-7 after 27 minutes, after Canterbury fullback George Bridge ran in a scorching 40 metres try, Tranaki appeared to be dead and buried. Rob Thompson scores Canterbury's opening try against Tranaki. However, two tries, including a peach to first 5-8 Stephen Perifida, who used his silky step to elude wing Braden Inner. Ensure the visitors pulled to within 31-21 at the split. Perifita's sparking effort made up for the try he gifted to the hosts in the 20th minute, when his telegraph pass was picked off by Canterbury skipper Tim Bateman to run in from 60 metres out. It followed the double blow Canterbury rock Tranaki with inside the first quarter of an hour with Rob Thompson and bulldozing flanker Tom Sanders crossing. But in one of the most memorable shield clashes in recent years, Tranaki finished over the top of the hosts in a remarkable comeback win. Fullback Marty McKenzie, who had a perfect night off the tee, and center Sada to Mainover deserve plenty of credit for their input. It was to Mainavu who flicked Bashir a marvelous offload as he was falling into touch in the 53rd minute, as the flankers first try pulled the visitors to within three, and with a mountain of momentum behind them. Tranaki 55, Seda to Mainavu, Stephen Perifida, P. 
Nikita So Okula, Ricky Ricci Telly, Lachlan Bashir 2, Mana Samata El Tries, Marty McKenzie 7 Con, 1 Pen, Farifa to Drop Goal, Canterbury 43, Rob Thompson 2, Tom Sanders, Tim Bateman, George Bridge, Braden Inner Tries, Richie Mount 5 Con, 1 Pen.